In dealing with the fine-tuning problem, we have a whole new way of looking at the universe, which some people have taken to indicate that the universe must engender life at some point in its history. Uh, what do you think about that? Well, I think they're going wildly beyond the evidence. I think that what the evidence shows is that either the universe is produced by something which had the production of life in view, or which was in some more abstract way directed towards the production of life. That's one of the things it may show, or what the evidence may show is that there exist a large number of universes with differing characteristics, ours being a very rare universe, in that it's a universe in which life, intelligent life in particular, is able to evolve and discuss this sort of question. Aren't you um, doing a little circular reasoning in this? Aren't you uh, making that uh, assumption because the fact that this universe uniquely gives life gives you a problem, that it forces you perhaps into what you're uncomfortable with, with maybe a theistic uh, 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 orientation, which makes you or other people uncomfortable, and therefore you feel you have to uh, squirm out into this multi-universe? No, I, I don't think so. Um, I was persuaded of the possibility of the multi-universe, which I originally dismissed rather contemptuously in my first book, Value in Existence. I was persuaded that you had to take it seriously because just after writing that book, I had a research here and I spent it in science libraries. And at the end of it, I came out convinced that there were very good reasons for believing in the existence of multiple universes. I read in the physics journals that it's almost certain that the universe extends far beyond what we are now able to see, that there are well-developed theories which tell you that regions beyond what we can see are very likely to differ in their force strengths and particle masses and so on, so that they could reasonably be called different universes instead of just different regions. I'd originally thought that everything in this field was merely speculation, hand-waving, trying to wriggle out of the need to bring in God <laughs> to explain the fact that the universe is finely tuned for life's purposes. I then came to see that it's really pretty respectable physics, that even without having any inspiration from this talk of fine-tuning, even if thinking all the talk of fine-tuning was rubbish because it was being too unimaginative about the possible ways in which life could develop. Even though I thought that, I could just think on the basis of having studied the physics that there would be a very large and complicated reality with different regions inside it which were very large, which had very different characteristics.